well, an incredibly exciting week and a real thrill and highlight for me was getting back together with my lovely cousin, Julie Hill. Uh, used to be Julie Ratcliffe. Julie was the first grandchild in our family. She uh, was born to my dad's brother, John, and um, Julie's about f three, four years older than me. And uh, we just had a wonderful reunion. I hadn't seen her in over 30 years. Uh, those years just melted away and uh, we really enjoyed each other's company. There's something very interesting about that genetic bond. I don't really understand it, but um, yeah, it was just it was an amazing thing to, to have all these shared memories. And she reminded me of things that, uh, that we did when we were kids. And it's kind of sad that we lost touch. J Julie emigrated to Australia. I emigrated here and uh, yeah, we, we've led different lives, but uh, she's always been there, um, photographs and, and memories, but it was just so lovely to reconnect. We went up um, to Squamish uh, on the second day. We had a barbecue at the house um, the, first, uh, the first day, and then uh, the second day we went, as I said, to Squamish. Wow, what a day. Went up the Sea to uh, Sky gondola, which is just epic. Um, the views up there are incredible. I'll put up some photographs so that you can see what uh, what we saw up there. Shannon Falls, just so beautiful. And, uh, and then a beautiful lunch. Um, Googled where to eat and took us off the beaten track. And uh, the name escapes me for a moment. I'll put it into the notes, but wow, right on the river, up um, just a little north of uh, Squamish. So getting closer to Brackendale. Incredible, incredible uh, place to have any food, but it was good food, so really enjoyed it. Um, then uh, the balance of the week, um, I was processing photography from uh, the camping trip last week to Tofino. That went really well. Uh, posted some video, uh, did a whole bunch of uh, stuff for uh, my client's spinal cord injury. We're just finishing up a project uh, with them, final edit stage, which was kind of nice. Um, and then uh, planning. Um, next week, I drive uh, to Prince Rupert. So actually tomorrow morning, I'll be heading out uh, north to Prince George. And then uh, on Monday, I will head to Prince Rupert, which is very exciting. I'm working with a couple of hotels there, the Crest and the Inn on the Harbour. And I'll be there till Friday. I might do a little bit of camping, but I think the hotels are giving me some rooms while I'm working, so I'll probably be in the hotels. And then uh, Saturday, heading back to Smithers, my good friends Sean and Gladys. Gladys is a counsellor in Smithers, and Smithers is part of the NCLGA took me a long time to memorize those initials, but uh, that's the North Central Local Government Association. I'm working with those folks right now, putting a video together, and I'm going to be interviewing Gladys as a new counselor, and she's going to talk about what the NCLGA means to her. So a very full week this week, planning a very full week next week, and uh, I hope you like these updates. I've been asked by a number of you to do a regular vlog of what I do, and um, yeah, give me some feedback. If this is what you want to see, if you want to see other stuff, I'll mix in some of my photography from the week. And hopefully uh, we get something that uh, you enjoy watching. It feels a bit strange, but it's a beautiful location. I'm at, uh, well, the mouth of the Fraser here in Richmond, in Steveston, at the end of number two road. It's one of my favorite spots. Uh, I kayak right here, or have in the past. I've been very lax in my kayaking, um, but uh, I plan to fix that this summer. So yes, that is a great place to kayak. That shady island right there, looking beautiful.